Hi developers, in this video we'll learn how to work with the database project. We'll be updating the tables so that we'll create a SQL script that describes those changes. Then this script will be added into a deckpack file that could be deployed to our remote SQL Azure database used in production in order to apply the same schema used in our local database to our remote database. Hi developers, in this video we'll learn how to use the database project in order to manage both our local database and also to manage the SQL Azure database inside Azure. Here I have a solution that contains two projects. The first one is the web app which is here an MVC web application that have web app context that connects to a local uh, database which have an employee table. Then after that I have added the database project and I have imported the same database used for my web app. The database have the following table which is the employee table with the uh, four columns ID, department, name and email. Let's say, let's say that here I have a new requirement for adding another column to my employee table. So I can do that here both either from my uh, T-SQL language or my SQL script or also I can do that from this, um, this visual representation of the table right here. So I'll go and use the um, script right here. So I'll go and copy this line right here. And I'll call the, uh, this column, let's call it, for example, a phone. I'll keep it of type and varchar and the default value is null. The visual representation will be automatically uh, updated automatically to add that change right here. Now let's save this change and let's um, deploy this change to our local database. To do that here, I'll go to the database project, right click, then here I go and select um, publish. I go to edit, then here I'll select the, my local database, for that I'll go to local, then here select MS SQL local DB, then right here I can select my local uh, database, which is this one right here. I click OK, then I select Publish. And now publishing is uh, executed successfully, so I can go to check if that really was done successfully by going to the employee table. For that I go to SQL Server Object Explorer, which you can get it from the view right here. And then I go to expand my local uh, DB. So let's open that, then I'll open my database for this project web app context then go to the employee table then here select view data here it displays the old one so let's uh, close it then click again view data and here it displays the new structure of or the new schema for my table which adds here another column for phone. So we did this change for my local database. Now I want to apply this same change to my database which is inside Azure. So for now our database inside Azure which I can connect to it right here. The employee table inside Azure doesn't have that uh, column number 5 for the phone. So I want to add that. For that here I can uh, connect to my SQL Azure database, which I have already uh, created it. So I can go to the database and again click uh, Publish. Click Edit and go to Bruce and here because I'm connected to Visual Studio with my email account that is uh, the same user to connect to Azure. I can expand here Azure and I can go 
and see all my uh, SQL databases and my web apps inside Azure. Here I select the one that I already created inside Azure. So this is the web app with a database. Then I need to configure the username and the password. Then I go and select remember password then click OK. In one of my previous videos I have showed how to create these uh, resources in Azure so I, um, you should go and uh, watch it then uh, so that you can continue uh, watching this uh, video. After that I'll go to select publish and note here that it have now uh, connected to my database hosted on uh, Azure using that uh, this connection string. Let's click publish. This will connect to my database on Azure and it will start uh, applying that uh, schema. But here we do have an error. And we see that here it tells us that a project of um, that the local project specifies the target as SQL Server 2016 but the one on hosted on Azure is of another type which, which is Azure SQL Database V12. So because of this change we cannot apply the changes to that database. How can we fix this? I will go here to the database project, right click, then I'll go and change the target to use the same target as the one used in Azure. That's by going to target platform right here, expand it and here I can see the one targeted by Azure. By default it uses the SQL Server 2016 and I can go and change that to use the Microsoft Azure SQL Database V12. Let's select that. Now I can go uh, or before that I should save this change then go and publish this uh, database project again. I'll do again edit and select the uh, database on Azure which is this one. Click OK then click publish again and for now our publishing was done successfully so if I go back here to my to connect to my um, database on Azure I'll go to the employee table and select here uh, refresh expand the columns then I should see the column for phone that is added to my employee table and here we see the phone column was added successfully. I can check again and click here view data. Close the old view and click again view data. And here it is the table of, of for employee saved on SQL Azure which adds the column for phone number. We want to add this added column to our uh, Razor views. For that here I'll go to uh, views, expand it, then I'll start with index which shows all the uh, list of employees in my table. And here I'll add a new uh, column inside my table to show the phone number. So I'll go and copy this one right here and here say uh, in this column I want to uh, display the phone uh, number. But here the phone number should be first of all added to my employee entity. For that I'll go to employee and then I'll add another property of type string which will be called phone. Then I'll go back to my index and here now I can add the phone. And I'll do the same right here in order to display the value of the phone number. Then when I create a new employee I will ask for the phone number for that employee. For that I'll go to the create uh, razor page right here. Then I'll copy this div and say 
that this one is for the phone number instead of the email and when I click create this will go to the MVC controller to the create method right here and here you see that it adds it only accepts those properties and I want to add to these the phone number so that now if I go to deploy my web or the new version of my web app to Azure and here make sure that we have uh, we are connecting to the SQL uh, database on Azure here it is using that connection to uh, our database on Azure so let's go and save that then let's publish this new version that adds the phone uh, number to the uh, MVC pages it opens the web app then if I go to slash employees then I should see all my columns for full name department email and phone let's try and create a new employee let's use the email and let's give a phone number so here let's say then it's number right one then click create and here it shows the phone number for my new uh, employee so what we have done until now is that we have created a change in our database by adding a new column then we have included that new column in our uh, model in order to be uh, used inside our uh, razor views to get that value shown in our uh, MVC application and we have deployed those changes using the publish option for both the database and the web app projects that's fine for uh, development purposes so join me in my next video in order to show you how to apply devops for both the web app but also for the database project